Hello YouTube viewers, today we got another toy review. Today we're going to be doing the SH Figures Infinity War Steve Rogers slash Captain America. Um, obviously this rendition of Cap is from the Infinity War movie that just recently came out at the middle of the year. Um, this Captain America design's a little bit special because it's more of like the armor's kind of darker with the Captain America symbol kind of supposed to be blacked out. Well, also no mask and no shield. So, anyways, let's get on to the figure. Um, so we'll start with the head sculpt, obviously. Um, I might actually take a couple pictures of the head sculpt too, just to help um, in video my video, or my video, uh, my camera doesn't do the figure justice, but this does look like Chris Evans. Um, the only downside to the figure, and it's something that Tomashi Tom just does with their realistic figures, is where they make the hair, like when it's supposed to be blonde or brown, they just make it this gold color. It's um, not completely accurate and does kind of make the figure look a little weird, but it's not as bad as um, Episode 1 Obi Wan, in my opinion. So it does work, but the face is just right. He's just got a blank stare because, well, it's figure arts. You gotta have a blank stare. Um, the armor and the body mold, uh, proportions look great. Um, this is my first SH Figure Arts Marvel figure, but I've been watching them over the years anyways, even though I didn't really care for them. I always watched the reviews because I was always curious, and it seemed like they always had some kind of proportion issues, but uh, he is... Well, very well proportioned, in my opinion. He looks great. This figure looks very aesthetically pleasing. And maybe they fix that up with the Civil War Captain America. Which I wish I bought. Because, <laughs> well... Captain America's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So, the torso, it looks nice. There's a lot of shading throughout the whole figure, as you can see. And when I flip it around to the back, you can kind of see there's less... Especially up here, there's not as much as there is on the front. You can tell with the legs, there's a good amount of shading. On the knees as well, and the boots. Lots of straps, lots of detail. They definitely did not take the cheap end out of here. So, the hands look good too. Alright. I don't think I really need to dive into it. It's pretty, it's pretty basic, even for being like a real life figure. It's still pretty easy to tell what's going on. So, let's get to his articulation. So, at the head, which looks up about that much, down about that much. Um, the hair does get in the way, though they made it a little movable, but not enough. It still don't do, it still doesn't do much. Uh, the lower neck is on a ball joint, but it really doesn't move as much as you'd maybe like it. Shoulders, they are on a butterfly joint. Obviously, this is Tamashi's. <laughs> seems to be their favorite new thing besides the new hips. Um, it comes out a long ways. I mean, it doesn't quite work with this figure because of just how it's molded. It works a little bit, but it also doesn't. So, then it's on a ball hinge. You can get his arm all the way up, all the way down. Um, it does twist. All the way around. Um, the bicep swivel is at the shoulder, which they could have maybe did one somewhere in here, but it's whatever. Um, the elbows don't really twist. They move, but that's just the joint moving. Very nice double elbow joint. Very nice. Uh, the elbow doesn't look the greatest, but it doesn't look the worst. Um, the hands are on your standard ball peg and hinge. Um, the joints are super small, eh, so be careful there. That's always a uh, nerve-wracking thing. The top portion of the torso doesn't move a lot at all. It shifts pretty much, and then the bottom one does all the movement, so he goes back that much, but it can't look supernatural because the upper body won't crunches tilts a little bit and then of course he turns um the other thing with this figure when moving the bomb torso it gets caught on the pelvic piece a lot i've noticed 
So just be wary of that. There probably could be paint scratching, but because the belt's there, you can't really see it. But even still, um, the belt, obviously it shifts. The thighs. I kind of forgot that this figure has the old system. So pulls out that much, and then you can pull it down and get even higher. Um, you can go out. You can go back that much. Not, not a lot. And we got a double jointed knee. That is okay. It's still bigger than, or still better than the original SH figure arts Dragon Ball Z figures. So, um, the ankles. Oofa. Okay. So, this is how much they pivot. Not a lot. Um, they go down a little bit, and they go up a little bit. And with the toe, but there honestly is not enough ankle movement. Um, I haven't started the picture process for this figure. Um, as you guys probably noticed in my last review with Gamora, um, doing pic pictures of the figures while I ramble on about the figure in the middle of the review, because I just decided that's going to be a better thing for it. Just to help show because the video part of this camera isn't the greatest. Um, and I'm still working out, you know, the kinks in it a little bit, so. I do like taking pictures, um, and I haven't started yet, but I can definitely tell you just taking the profile picture, or the hopefully profile picture of the video, the ankles were a pain to deal with. So. Not enough there, so that might cause some struggle. Um, I'm actually going to size them up quick with some other figures. Um, normally I would wait to do this, but I would like to get it done now before the accessories, because the accessories are a little special on this guy. So, first off, um, these are all SH Figure Arts. Um, so we got SH Figure Arts Darth Maul. He's taller. Um, I believe Chris Evans is a taller guy, and then Captain America, just in general, is supposed to be taller, so this kind of makes sense, I guess. Not that you're going to be, well, now that Disney owns Marvel <laughs> and Star Wars, maybe we'll see a crossover. Um, we got Zafi here on the Ultraman line. Uh, pretty good. Um, once again, I believe the actor is a taller guy anyways, so technically in our universe, it's probably correct. And then on top of that, we're going to finish it off with Goku, because why not? Who, he is also taller than when it comes to just the body without the hair, so that's interesting. So any Marvel, Dragon Ball Z crossovers, Captain America slash Steve Rogers is going to be standing taller than everyone. So I actually don't mind. I kind of feel like he's supposed to be a taller guy. He's... He's kind of like All Might, and All Might's gigantic, so. Let's get on to the accessories. So, he doesn't come with much, and I'll give you my reasoning for that after we're done with the accessories. So, first of all, he does come with two extra sets of hands besides the fists. Um, we got the open palm relaxed hands. I'll show you a little bit, and I'll probably have a picture or two coming up about right now. Showing you a little bit better with the macro mode. We'll see. And then the other hands that we have, obviously, are the gripping hands. So these hands are pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, I kind of do wish he came with two sets. That way we had the angles, just like they do with the Star Wars figures, where they come with two sets where one's more of a holding up and one's more angled. But it's whatever. Then we do get a spear, which one of the... I can't remember the Death Order's name or whatever they're called, it's the the taller assassin one. This is his spear that uh, Steve grabs during the first major fight of the movie, on the attack on a certain character. So, it, it's not really painted. I don't know if it's supposed to be. Maybe this is supposed to be from the final battle. I always just said it was in the, or I always put it to mind that it's the subway fight because of reasons that we'll get on to. Um, the other thing with this, um, all the Infinity War figures besides Thanos come with something extra. Um, some come with stage, and some come with an explosion effect. So it 
It's like buying the explosion effect, except I did forget to check up to see if this color is exclusive for these figures or if these were a regular or maybe just an exclusive release and then they got re-released through the figures. But we have three different types. So we got this one, which is going pretty crazy. And then we got one that's kind of the opposite, except it's a little bit bigger too. Um, I do like these. I'm going to be honest. These are really, these have a lot of good detail. Um, I'll definitely take pictures of these because I was more excited to use these with my figures. So if you guys have seen my collection video, you know I got Destroy It kind of like on the side of my Monster Art shelf. These have been in front of him and it just makes him pop. It If he didn't already like steal the show, these add to it. So they're all really nice. Um, I enjoy these. Uh, it's I mean, I've never owned these, so I'll accept them any day. All right, so why does this figure come with not a lot of accessories? Well, honestly, I think they're going to do what they did with the Tony Stark Iron Man. Um, if you guys know, there was a first one, and now there's a second one coming out with the nanotech. Um, in my opinion, obviously they're doing that because they want to release two of them. So I think there's going to be a final battle Steve Rogers um, where he might come with a little bit more. He'll come with the Wakanda shields that he's missing. <laughs> which is the biggest downfall of this figure is that he doesn't come with... Oh, shoot. <laughs> he doesn't come with the shields, but I think that's why. Um, and an angry face. So I think we'll get a second release of this figure. He'll come with an angry face, maybe even gripping hands, like actual gripping hands, and the she the shields for his arms. I do know there's some customs out there, and I'm tempted to look them up to maybe purchase them. Because if the second one comes out and it's really only the shields, then I'm not going to get it, because that's just not enough for me. Maybe I will. I don't know. This movie's really good, so... Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, this figure, honestly, he probably gets like a 7 out of 10. Um, he's great. I mean, this is my first Marvel figure, so I really don't have a standard. Um, it's been amazing posing this guy without the ankle problems, but the ankles do get in the way. Uh, the small wrist joints are absolutely terrifying. They're even smaller than Darth Maul's joints, and he has some small ball joints on his wrist. I don't like that. Mine look especially a little snappable. The head not being able to do all the movement I would like it to is also a little frustrating. And mine has a little bit of a QC thing where this shoulder right here is super tight. So, or his left side. So, I'll probably have pictures going on right now, honestly. <laughs> but, I would say a 7 out of 10. Is it worth picking him up? I'd honestly, if you're asking me personally, I would pick this up. If you're an Infinity War fan and you want the figure where it's Captain America and you're thinking about it, you can go on Amazon right now. You can get it for 70 bucks, so you're getting it like 7 or $8 cheaper than it normally is. Um, I'd recommend picking it, up, picking it up because we don't know if we are going to get a second Captain America. And if we don't, pick this one up just in case. You never know. Anyways, I will... I'd like to thank you guys for watching again. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you could. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in for the next video.